All right, folks. Hello, everyone. Good morning. It's Friday. Got the Friday. Got the Friday feeling. Third mm, of March, I think. Third. Third of March. Third of March. Hurtling our way to third of March. Third birthday on the twenty third of twenty twenty three. Cows highlighted that last week. It's a, it's a third birthday on the 23rd of the 3rd, 23rd. Morning, Sue. Just you talking my usual rambly, rambly stuff. Morning, Miss P. Uh, something hanging off my hair. I don't quite know what that is. <clears throat> I'm here at Haven HQ, home of Make Movement, your mission of almost three years ago. So a hive of activity this morning. We're doing um, a, a washing for dinner exchange, me and mum. So there's uh, there's much washing going on because I, I leave again tomorrow. Yikes. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Penzance, for the welcome home. <clears throat> Three weeks to go. <laughs> Three weeks to go. Should we have a virtual party? I think we'll have a virtual party whereby we we describe what we would wear. We could be as outrageous as you want, because it's virtual. CK, I've just decided we're having a virtual birthday party on the 23rd. <clears throat> so <clears throat> you can tell us what you're gonna wear, what you'd like to drink, what you'd like to eat. The world is your lobster. That's a great idea. I've just, you know, not all my ideas are great, but I think that's quite good. Angela, what are you gonna wear? Miss P, what are you gonna wear? What shall I wear? Uh, yes, let's do that, I reckon. A virtual party, I'm excited, can you tell? Whereby you can wear whatever you want and um, we, we could almost be anywhere in the world. Probably home, of course. Um, I'm probably better, actually, at a virtual party than an actual one. I'm not the most sociable of people. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be the one stood in the kitchen, probably, <laughs> avoiding everyone. Or oh, I'd be out on the balcony or out in the garden, garden sat, on the, sat on the bench in the dark, probably. Thank you, Carol, for the welcome home. Yes, and a vir virtual birthday cake, Sue. So you can, you can decide whether you want sponge or whether you want fruit cake or whether you want, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a cake expert. Uh, Maddie, morning. We're talking about virtual birthday celebrations where you can wear whatever you want um, and eat whatever you want and drink whatever you want. Morning, Pat. We can talk about something else if you want, but my head's gone off on that theme. Quite like it. Oh, um, <clears throat> last night the the train journey was a bit chaotic to say the least. There was a, there was a, 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 a sad and unfortunate event on the lines, which meant all of the trains, or should I say, all of the train drivers were displaced. Um, you know, like with the, when there's snow and all the airplanes were in the wrong airports. It, it was like that yesterday. All the trains were in the wrong place. <clears throat> and I was sat, the, the announcements came coming through to say, because we kept stopping, we're sat outside of Blah station, waiting for the, the shift change. <laughs> we don't know how long this is going to be because we don't know where all the drivers are. And then I was sat, uh, just outside of Barnum and we were, we were like this absolutely cramped standing room only and the announcement came over to say we're outside of Barnum we don't know how long for but if you're going to have an all Southampton there's currently a train on platform one <laughs> you know what happened then it, like, I think the, the train physically kind of rocked a bit as everyone did a, a mass exodus out this train just madness, but all kinds of manner of funny things happen, don't they, in those unfortunate moments? You mean you make eye contact with strangers and have a giggle and all those things. So there's there's lots of that going on. We need a playlist. Now that's a great idea, Angela. Angela, that's a great idea. We need um we need a play a virtual playlist and maybe actually maybe we could start the playlist now and then we could start playing them as the Mojo tunes. I'm thinking on that, Angela, I like that very much. My sister said, Jay, look, you see where I am? I'm on scrambled egg duty after this, sister T. Uh, anyway, there's me rambling on. So that's unfortunately why I'm so sorry. I was in for chaos yesterday on 4 p.m. and I, I failed her. Couldn't make it happen, apologies. 
Um, well done for all ye crowbar in the rooms yesterday. I'm definitely on a double whammy today, and your noon will be from the the balcony. Yes, it will. But for now, five, six, seven, eight. X tell me. <laughs> Just had a look at my hair, and uh, apologies. Everything's being washed, so that's why I haven't got a t-shirt t on either. Morning, Chris. I can see another Chris has arrived. Thank you for all your welcome home safe. Three, two, one. Thanks, Tally. Late to live training. Eight a.m. Movement snack. Sorry. That's all right. I'm coming through. And uh, let's let's get going. I am back with. Uh, I'm in socks today, folks. You might not be in socks. Uh, I'm on the rug, so all safe and secure. Make the right decisions for you for your footwear. Let's get going with our circulation boost. You might want to fix firm support to the side, to the side of you, or to the front of you. Or you might be in sit. I'll be with you for the seated prompts in a minute. Here's your key points for standing circ boost. It might sound obvious, but it might also be significant. Weight even across both feet. Hip width apart, not shoulder, not closer. Go for an extra extend. Start steady and stay steady. So pick a pace and range of movement that's comfortable for you. We don't want it so slow like you're walking in treacle or so fast that you don't have time to get extra range through your feet. So it should be rhythmical and comfortable and feel, kind of check in with your hips are steadily uh, moving in the same range as our knees. And most of the movement is coming from the ankles, feet and toes. So you're literally preparing your lower limb for your day, and you will need lots of ankles, feet and toes if you are on your feet in standing activities today. Within, a, within 30 seconds or so, the heart and the lung, the lung rate will start to respond to that. This is good. We can start to then uh, add other bits and bobs if you would like. This movement of the arm is definitely from the shoulder, so we want a, a bend in the elbow. No, no, no long flailing arms. We want purposefully moving arms and switch between the two. All these apparently small things have big impact on your moving parts. We're looking to maintain all of the all of your potential movement. Carry on in stand. Quick, quick. Keep switching between upper and lower limb, or you might prefer to go for a wider stance and slower on the top end. That's that's your circ boost standing options. In sit, if you haven't already, into active sit, this is significant. So you have more tension and support of the trunk so that you can hip walk forward if that's right for you. You might prefer to stay back in full back rest. A bit of an adjustment on the feet, come back a bit, creates a better angle so that you can now get even more movement from the feet and the ankles and your, your toe hinges. You need all these ranges of motion. Um, for standing and seated activities that involve feet. Steady arms, one or two, there you go. So <clears throat> we can uh, kind of really take from the movement snack as much or as little as you would like. The most important thing is move a bit more, move a bit more frequently. Um, we talk about crowbarring in extra moving minutes. And then after that, you can start to tune in or check in more specifically with how you move. Um, and then if we start to think about how we move over time, we have greater efficiencies, stuff moves better, therefore we use less energy and dun dun dun. There you go. You should be left feeling pleasantly in the need of a few deeper breaths. That's what we're after. And now ready for the key moves at the top end. If you are in sit, anchor your buttocks, anchor your feet, go for the raise and then all the way down. A steady raise and a lower. If you're in stand, it's the same, but you'll need to consider balance positions, feet are wide, keep the head still. Everything is slow and really deliberate, as in, getting as far up as you comfortably can, and then controlling, controlling the lower, as opposed to just kind of letting go, as it were. Don't let it go, not just yet. Once you've gone up and down, let's add in the range. So for activities like reach, pull, push, pull, 
we need all that extra stuff. So here in the morning get-go, we just take everything through its fullest comfortable range. There you'll feel the shoulder blades squeezing together. You can see my arms are relaxed. Slow, slow and specific. That's what we're after. The more specific the in, the more specific the out. Right, that's shoulders, trunk and uh, shoulder blades. Neck and head movements. First off, up and up right. Uppity up. Get more uppity, folks. We spend a lot of time flexed and bent forwards. <clears throat> Doesn't make for great ease of movement. So there's the lift. Fingertip touch on the chin so that you can then consider that your, your sideways glaze, glaze, gaze, it's been a long week. Your sideways gaze, that's a tongue twister, try saying that, um, is really specific. So the chin is level with the floor. Have a check in that you're not dipping the chin or lifting up. Can you, can you achieve a little bit more steady sideways glance or gaze without shifting the head up and down? Head is really heavy, so it needs to maneuver itself around this sticky neck bit. So it's part and parcel of upright postures and head positions will greatly influence how we sit, how we stand, how we walk. So more extend and lift, and then this third one at the top end serves to give us extra movement on that kind of backward squeeze there, as if you're easing and squeezing your head into a pillow. So this little um, manoeuvring of the head, I think I got that word in my head today, is part of upright posture and then positioning the head. So it's, it's the opposite to, to a chin poke, and we tend to poke the chin forwards when we flex forward. There you go, that's your three moves at the top end. Now we do a second round of circulation boost. Mm, I'm aware that I'm going through the basics a little bit more specifically because I know we've had a flurry of new movement snap mates. So uh, we do the same every 8am folks, um, but I think you'll find we find lots of different ways of talking about it, different words might trigger thoughts and plant seeds. So we do the same stuff, but you know, just get it done. We do the washing up and the ironing. Well, I don't, but uh, try and make movement, fundamental movement check-ins as significant as all, as all of your household activities, really. That's really what movement stacking strives to do. Invest, invest in your moving parts and your supporting parts and it will pay dividends. Okay, that's your second round of circ boost. Bit of quick peek there as well if you want. Three trunk moves are in your day, a bend, turn and extend. If you're in sit, take the feet slightly wider if legs are involved, and your buttocks. Start small, bend and return. You might feel the need to have a slump, a rest in between each one of these. <clears throat> if you're new to movement snacking, if you're new to moving more frequently, if you're new to paying attention to how you sit and how you stand and how you move, your, your posture muscles will fatigue, they'll get tired. So use the rests, it's part and parcel of how we improve and build stamina and endurance over time. Use the rests to enable you to go again, and then over time, build bigger ranges of motion. Not quicker, bigger. That's what the ATM is about. Improving movement, and this means taking it Steadily, with control, down and a return. Take a pause, go again, four or five in each direction. In stand, the same, but now um, considering balance, take the feet slightly wider, have the support to the front. The same moving prompts apply. Start small, build size over time, park up in the middle, check that nothing's changed just the sideways bend and return and if you are in stand a light bend in the knees will enable you to get even more support from your legs so uh, not to lock out the knees and then that gives you more control more control of your luggage basically <clears throat> a trunk turn here's the standing legs pretty much always the same when there's any trunky or head movement slightly wider for better balance and here we can use the table to ease across, look, I can keep that contact. This might be important 
any head or trunk movement can have a tendency to challenge the balance because of the vestibular system in your head. So just having a fingertip touch on a support might make a difference. Have it to the front of you if you know that's the case. Uh, you can nudge up closer to it if that helps. You can even, for the trunk turn, make contact with the feet and that will better, uh, th these aren't feet, the legs, make contact with your thighs there and then you will definitely know if you have any movement in the hips. So we just want the top end. In sit, you're sat on your hips, so your, your anchors uh, are loaded, so that should give you more opportunity to definitely just focus on turning through your spine steadily with control. All of this is with control. Optimal, purposeful, with control. <clears throat> you will notice, you will, you will never hear me say the word gentle always with control, with purpose, because life isn't gentle. Uh, life needs us to be resilient and robust and in control of movements. So control, slowly with control. Just thought I'd say that, couldn't help myself. Here we go, third movement of the trunk is the back extension. Into active sit, no, um, no tilting here. If you feel a bit slumpy, You'll note that your, your pelvis is kind of <coughs> tilted, tilted forwards, back towards your coccyx. We want to tilt it the other way, so you come high up on the sit bones. Can you see and feel the difference that makes to the back? Now you can get your extensors going. It's, it's almost impossible to do this from a slumpy position. And you need this extra movement for arm reaches above head, high moves, and also getting comfortable in bed and in chairs. So there, it's, it's pro it might feel like a small movement, but it's a key one and it will impact on your reachage and your shoulders. Here it is in stands, close to the support, no, um, no balance challenge here, hold on, hold on. Really sink the, your feet into the floor, get some toe scrunch going on so you definitely know that you are only moving the back. There's no swage there. That's your third movement of the trunk. Here we go. Third round of circuit boost. Again, it's light. It's comfortable. It's achievable. It's so, so purposeful uh, and, and meaningful. All of these movements mean something to daily life. Hopefully, it's tolerable to do it here with me and others. Just get it done, folks. If you don't do it, you're, uh, you're not going to be in the best place you can be for your movement. It's as simple as that. The, the less we do, the less we're going to be able to do over time. That's your last flurry of surf boost. Are you ready? Ankles, feet and toes. Here are your seated prompts for this. Have a hip walk back, lift and shift. Valuable skill, this hip walk. <clears throat> Foot off the floor. Couple of options. Here's your ankle movement. Be specific. Don't just give it a wiggle and a waft. Get the toes going as well, you'll need those if you're standing up today. Keep the foot low to the floor, this will enable you to get more movement from the ankle. Four or five each foot, there's the first option. So, second option, have hip walk forward. That movement you've just done, now apply it to the act of floor placement for, for walking. Really specific, the more you can control your foot placement, the better control you will have over your stride length. Therefore, if you feel more control, you'll feel more confident. There we go, how's about that? And then the other ones is here. There's the other option. You've got extra hip in there, that may or may not be comfortable for you. So see how that one goes. Hold on to the chair if you want to for extra support. And, 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 that's it. Standing up, the same. Those three moves, there's the, the toe hinges, you'll need that for push off, for walking. Here's the ankle moves, you'll need those for walking. All of your foot based activities, getting on your shoes and socks for one. Then bring that into the stride, the application of daily life to do the other leg. Maybe practice some step turns, step turns, step turns. There we go again. And, and, and. And the strides, and the strides. 
he's got no strides on. All right, let's finish with some uh, big Bex hugs, maybe some shirt offs, maybe, maybe. Rah, there you go, that is your ATM. I think I've, I've read that. Not a chat going on in that one. Ironing, I know, who said that word? Kels, I'm so sorry, mate, I let you down yesterday. I couldn't cover you 4 p.m. I tried. I won't, I won't blame Southern Railway, I won't. But they were a factor in that failure. <laughs> sorry, Kels. Uh, I'm, on a, I'm on the noon today. I'll see you at noon, and Kels will see you at four. Um, don't forget, we're having a virtual birthday party. So we want to know what you're gonna to wear to the virtual party, uh, where you want it to be. And uh, Angela's great idea of a party uh, song list, track list, whatever you call it. So uh, yeah, let's keep going that. Kels, let's keep going with that. We want um, virtual party, what you're gonna wear, and uh, track listing for the Make Me Movement your mission birthday on the 23rd of 3rd, 23rd. Uh, see you in uh, party hats. Yes, I love a hat. Yes, party hats, like it, Sue. Uh, I'll see you at noon, folks. Bye for now.